Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to battery voltage drop test. So first of all, what is a, a battery voltage drop test? Well, it's a test basically to see how much uh, voltage leaves the battery, how much it drops by uh, when you turn the engine on. Uh, by doing this test, you can tell a lot about the inner quality of your battery and uh, what condition it's in and whether it's uh, going to be needed to be replaced in the near future. Um, there's two different pieces of equipment here uh, that I'm going to test with. One's going to be the old-fashioned one here, which is the, the old... Uh, battery tester from the 80s and early 90s. It's going to give us a rough idea of what we're looking for. And then I've obviously got a digital multimeter as well, which is set to, to DC volts. Um, slightly more expensive me uh, multimeter than most people have because it has maximum minimum there. So what I'm going to do is set it to what I have done there, minimum. And then when I crank the engine, it will show the minimum voltage left in the battery. Uh, and then I can obviously refer back to that when I come back to the camera. So I've got the multimeter there. And as I say, the, the battery tester here. So, um, Obviously it shows around here, which is green. So we've got 12 volts is showing on there, even though the more accurate multimeter is showing the 12.4. Brand new battery will have about 12.6 volts when you buy it off the shelf. When the engine's cranking, we're expecting to see that voltage drop because volts is basically the push uh, behind the um, behind the current and the, the amps that actually cranks the engine, the starter motor. So it will momentarily drop when I start the engine. What we're looking for normally is around about two volts drop maximum. So obviously with the 12.4 right here, I'd be looking for at least 10.48. Uh, 10 um, any lower than that, if you get into single figures, you get below 9.9, .9, the battery's in poor condition. What happens over time is that the uh, the plates in the battery, they get clogged up with um, so, uh, lead sulfate, sulfication it's called, and it blocks the plates from being able to transfer that chemical energy into electrical energy. And that's inevitable, that's gonna happen over a period of time. And it just stops the battery being uh, efficient. So um, battery should crank for around about four four seconds or so. The engine should crank for around four seconds. And as you can see with this scale and the old fashioned one, just for reference, it's showing 12, it's showing weak at around about 11. Um, what, down to nine? I'd argue it's worse than <laughs> anything under 9.9 .9 is probably bad, but that might just help uh, give you a reference there when we start the engine. So uh, what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna leave those there. Hopefully you can see both reasonably accurately if we focus the camera and let's crank the engine and see what reading we get Obviously on this engine get, went down to 10.75 which tells me it's in okay condition. It still dropped the rest back 2 volts, it's not perfect. Uh, but obviously that base voltage of 12.4 is telling me it's not, not a brand new engine. Um, but hopefully you saw on this scale uh, it dropped probably into the, into the weak category. So again, uh, check your battery voltage, whatever it, the base voltage is, around about 12.5 and, and it shouldn't drop more than 2 volts lower. Hope that makes sense, see you in the next one.